This comes after another night of violent protests over the death of George Floyd. Demonstrations have erupted across the country, including here in Las Vegas, after the Minneapolis man died in police custody. Earlier tonight, representatives of our community held a press conference promoting unity and peace. Kate Houston joins us live now from Metro headquarters with more on their message for tonight. Kate. Yes, Sasha, that's right. Sheriff Lombardo, Mayor Goodman, and local faith leaders all had the same message tonight. They were calling for tonight's protest to be peaceful. Now, there were also members from the Multicultural Advisory Council. They were here to talk about the conversations and expectations between community members and Las Vegas police officers. They're hoping that these words will encourage everyone protesting tonight to be peaceful. We're not turning a blind eye to any of their voices and their concerns on what has occurred in the past. What I want people to do is move forward. And what I want people to do today is protest, practice your First Amendment rights within the limits of the law. We're all flawed. We know we have to make it better. We work at it, but every member of our law enforcement, every member of each community, black, yellow, tan, any color, any faith, any, any belief in anything. We are a family of one people, and we work every day because we believe in love. We want to see that our community is safe, that this is uh, a time that we send a clear message what to expect to the parents. There's a lot of young people. Many of us are parents and grandparents. We have high schoolers and young kids that uh, are looking at the news and it looks exciting and fun to go out and see what's happening out in the streets and send a message. But tonight is not the time and it's not the right way. It is dangerous. It's okay to march. We have that right to march. But to destroy another man's property is wrong. And we cannot stoop that low. So if you want a change, in your community, you have to become that change. And so we want everyone. These are all incredibly powerful words ahead of tonight's protest at Container Park. Now, I do want to share as well, Pastor Troy Martinez says that he does not want any violence or agitators from outside groups. He does not want this to infringe on anything that these peaceful protesters are trying to accomplish tonight. He does not want what happened in Minneapolis to happen here in Las Vegas. Reporting live from the Las Vegas Metropolitan Police Department, Kate Houston, 8 News Now.